I'm going to show you guys a, uh, what they call the slider right here on the bay. Um, if you can see, this is the slider. This is the upper end. Yeah, right there. That slides on this barrel swivel right there. Goes ties directly to your line, which goes to your spool. With a hook or a jig, it slides in the upper end and it hits the barrel swivel, which then is uh, a stop. Then you put another drop or lead from the barrel swivel down to your lower. Um, in this case, this is what Mike's got us going with here on this rod is a spoon. Um, he runs like a four pound uh, P line, is who he works, who he uh, does his stuff through. Um, it's four pound P line uh, fluorocarbon, I believe it is. And it runs similar like this. There's your lower, there's your upper, and uh, it goes right, you know, directly to your right. I gotta retie mine here. So what we'll do? I'm gonna get mine out. So there's a fluorocarbon. Um, one of the things I do. Uh, my personal preference is, is uh, for quick changing is I run a small little clasp not really a snap but I don't know if you can see it and uh, that way I can it, it works good on these smaller fish say white fish or perch and stuff um, you can use them on walleyes a little bit you gotta use the heavier ones on walleyes but it uh, allows you to, uh, to change out your spoons or your jigs or whatever real quick. Get this tied up. And uh, you can fish two ways out here in the bay for white fish. I like the, a little bit deeper water up there, um, a little farther north. You get them in a little deeper water. Because I can use my underwater camera. Um, sort of cheating then. It almost makes it too easy. Um, you can see them hit and then uh, you know just set the hook you don't have to worry about feeling them or watching your line or stuff like that um, down here though these fish get real spooky compared to up a little farther north so that being the case we are going back to your standard electronics and just got to be real aware sometimes you don't feel them you just see it and a uh, little little bit of weight on the line and set the hook um, all right well, I'm just gonna do a little more uh, a little more showing yet. We uh, I bait mine with wax worms right now. If you can see, put move around. The wax worms on them. Um, that's I prefer a little more meat. I, I guess you could say. But uh, some of the, the guides out here, and this is one that Mike had suggested. He says use real light plastics such as what you'd use for uh, bluegills or whatever else. Um, with, if you notice, that's Berkeley gulp on the end of a, a spoon. Um, again, the slider, here it is, that's what slides up and down your line. And the spoon, which is probably, I think it's about a quarter ounce, maybe a little more. That's what gets you down there, especially in the deeper water, you need a little more weight. And then when you're jigging, you're just bouncing this off the bottom, a spoon off the bottom. And when the fish get real finicky, you can drop the slider down to them, which is a small jig, or in my case, I got a just a silver hook with a wax worm on it. You drop the slider down to the fish. They won't, they won't take the big spoon, but they'll take the, you know, the slider, if it's a small jig, or the silver hook, that's what they'll take. Um, you know, some days it is they'll lay right into whatever's down there. Other days you really gotta work the fish. Oh. There we go, another Green Bay white fish. Caught on the top slider. Caught on the top slider. See there's a spoon again on the bottom swinging. And there's the top one right there.